I'm going to tell you today how to use MLA citations in the middle school. Not the complete parenthetical referencing. Too hard. The basic system that you need to use at this school. Obviously, the first thing you will do is to plan out your essay. We know this. I will have an introduction. I will talk about the good features of my topic, the bad features. I will then give my own opinion. We call this an evaluation, weighing up the good and the bad. I will then have a conclusion. You guys know this. You plan it out before you start. You do a good job. Here we go. A piece of an essay at the beginning. I've done some research. I'm introducing my topic. The Hadron Collider. What is it? I've read lots of sources and got a lot of information. And I need to document that information. Otherwise I could have just made it up. We use MLA at this school. My advice to you is don't learn MLA. Find a website that will do it for you. There's two that are free. Either EasyBib or BibMe. Either of those will do it for you. Pretty obvious. Um, it's a website. I would click website. Put in the URL, the web address, load info, then click add to the self-explanatory. It will make a set of MLA style references for you. Problem is, how do I use that? Here is my work cited. At the moment it's hard to read. You need to grab it all and then take that little triangle. Does that start to separate out each of my references? Aha! Uh -huh. Now they are really, really clear. I look at these, the alphabet's a bit messed up. Normally we start with aardvark and end in zebra, A to Z. I look at this, L, C. This one here should be further down. Now suddenly it becomes easier to follow. Notice we've got two here starting with the same letters. H, W, still in alphabetical order. Easy. Website did the thinking for me. I just had to make it look good. There's only one other problem we have. Images. I'm making a plan. I've mapped out my essay. I've introduced it. I've put a picture in. What is that thing? You need to tell people. A piece of the Hadron Collider. Did you take that photo? Did you find it somewhere? You found it somewhere. We need to go back to the source. It came from that website. Control copy. Control V. There is my source. That's too big. It's dominating my essay. I need it there, but I don't need it so big. I will make it smaller. Now I know what it is and where it came from. Of course, I still need that in my work cited so people can know all about it. Basically, that's what we need to do. I don't think that looks so difficult. 